Have you ever seen an evolutionist give you an example of a transitional fossil of an ancestor? For example, look at the fossil record for the ancestral horses. Did you know that all these four horses that you see right here, they actually share one thing in common? They are all part of the family called Equidae. I don't know how to pronounce it right. It's a scientific concept. Now, if you notice, those transitional fossils that you see right there, they're not really from a family to another family. Instead, they are actually part of the same family or the same kind. Now, despite uh, the claims of evolutionists saying that species change from one kind to another, what, creation, what creationists actually mean is that species, they stay within their kinds. Now, kinds in the context actually means family. For example, the family of canine, canine day, something like that, are uh, dogs, wolves, and coyotes. Notice how they share a similar family group. Now, look at the family for the horses. If you look at all those fossils once again, they all share a common family. You won't, ne you won't see a fossil sharing a uh, a family that is not part of the horse family. Now this is where it gets interesting. A transitional fossil is actually a fossil from one family to another. Now what this means is that if we, if evolutionists want to show that it's really a transitional fossil, they have to prove that the fossil does not share the common family of the horse. In other words, in order for the horse to come into existence, the evolutionists will need to show a fossil that shows how exactly the horse family came to be by showing another type of species evolving into that horse family. Now this is where it gets really interesting. If you ask any evolutionist, how did the horse family got there? Their answer will be exactly no response. Usually when you ask evolutionists to provide a transitional fossil, they usually sidestep that question by providing you a fossil of the same horse family. For example, looking at the earliest ancestor of the horse, you can see that they used the, those fossils to justify the transitional claim. Now, it's, now that's a, pro a problem because the transitional fossils are actually fossils that show how the family of those species got there in the first place. The fact that no evolutionist has provided any fossil that shows how the horses got there in the first place. Now, I'm not talking about modern horses. I'm talking about the earliest horse uh, ancestor that got here on Earth. They will never provide a fossil for that. They will never provide an answer because they don't really know or they stay um, dumbfounded. If you believe the fossil is transitional, ask yourself this question. Does this fossil prove how the family got here in the first place? If it doesn't prove it, then the answer is quite obvious. It's not a transitional fossil. Now, can so let's put that in test. Evolutionist, what is the transitional, transitional fossil for the fish family? And now I'm talking about the first earliest fish ancestor. Where is the answer the excuse me, where is the transitional fossil to show how they got there in the first place? Now let's ask another question. Evolutionists. Where are the transitional fossils that show how the trilobites got there in the first place? Where are the transitional fossils that show how the jellyfishes or the earliest uh, ancestors of jellyfishes got there in the first place? Can you provide me an answer for that? Nope. So even deeper questions. Evolutionists. Where are the transitional fossils that show how the canine or canine day sp uh, family got there in the first place? Now, by the canine day, I'm talking about dogs, wolves, and coyotes. Where are the transitional fossils of its earliest ancestor, how it got there in the first place? Now, let's ask us up another question. Evolutionists. Where are the canine, no, excuse me, the uh, felite or felidae? of the cat family, how they got there in the first place. Can you provide me a transitional, fo transitional fossil how its earliest ancestor got there in the first place? Nope. How about the starfish? How did the starfish got there in the first place? 
or its earliest ancestor got there in the first place? What are the transitional fossils linking all those animals together as, as the tree of life predicts? Why are those transitional fossils missing? Why are there no fossils showing how the family of the species came to be? Why are they missing, evolutionist? Why can't you not answer me that question? Why do you provide me fossils of a, of a species of the same family speciating to, the, to another type of species within that same family? For example, a wolf speciating to a coyote or a dog. Why do you provide me uh, those kind of fossils if it doesn't prove how those family got there in the first place? Why can you not show me any transitional fossils how the species came to be at Earth in the first place? Why are they missing? Oh, and for the Tetelic argument, please read the description below. That will be enough to convince you that the Tetelic is not really a transitional fossil from uh, a tr uh, tritopod to a fi from a fish. Now, the other article I suggest to read is a scientific journal that shows how the uh, Asian, you know, the, the primitive birds that was called an Asian dinosaur was not really a dinosaur, but in fact a bird. Now, I will provide that also in the comment section, I mean, in the description below. So you can see for yourself that what you're being told as the transitional fossils, the Titalic and the Amphorex or something like that, are not really transitional fossils at all. The fact that no evolutionists, even Richard Dawkins and Stephen Jay Gould, could not provide any transitional fossils how the whole species got there in the first place on the earliest point of Earth pretty much proves that they really can't prove that we all share a common ancestor within the tree of life. Alright guys, well this is Aces here and if you have any questions or concerns please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like my video, please leave a, a like and thanks for watching.